Hey everybody, and we are back. My name is Tsuki, and this is Gabriel Knight, Sins of the Fathers. Alright, so we are still busy with day one here. Uh, we've explored a few locations. Um, but we ended up here at the park. Uh, so let's see what we can find out around here. There's a big old statue in the middle. There's a fence around it. There's a buff dude walking around. You white-faced geek. You want to eat my fist? <laughs> wow. There's a lady walking around. There's a mime. That looks really strange. There's some... Cajun band, because a washboard is an instrument. We all know that. Uh, so far, let's have a look at the mime. It's one of those mimes. Oh, boy. <laughs> this dude. People seem to be enjoying the park, despite the lack of sunshine. Despite the lack of sunshine. The cathedral is to the north. There's some flowers. Nice flowers. Not that a real man would notice something like that. <laughs> Hmm, oh, weird jump. Oh. Okay, there's a jazz band playing the same tune, I guess. A lone drummer beats out a haunting rhythm on a large African drum. Hey there, nice beat. I dig it. The drummer does not respond. Okay. Uh, oh, jazz band. Never. Leave me alone, you the jazz you band you is man. pretty good. Ugh. Of course, most jazz bands in New Orleans are. In New Orleans. I'm completely tone deaf, so music is just a thing that I can't do. I wonder what, if you can talk to the a cop. A police officer is either off duty or patrolling the park, or both. Hello, officer. Good day, officer. Yeah, you too. Keep moving. Rude. It's, oh, you can There's work. There's a police band radio on that bike. Oh, I see it. A police officer. Yes. Can I use the radio? Mind if I use your radio? What are you nuts? Forget it. Touchy. Hmm. Okay. Um there's some benches, there's some fences. Anything we're missing over here? More flowers, a lamppost. Iron lamppost add charm to Jackson Square. You white face geek, you want to eat my fist? Rude. I'm not sure if there's anything I should be doing here. Um. Wait, is he following me? Oh, well, he was following me, I guess. Knock it off, you, before I shove this washboard down your throat. Jeez. Should I, like, have him follow me? Maybe to the police officer or something? You. Come here. Follow me. I assume his attention's going to be distracted if he runs into one of the others. Alright, quickly, run. Oh no. Yeah. He tagged the woman. Unless this isn't what I should be doing? Well, I never. Leave me alone, you, you, you man. You, you, you man? Yeah, what a. Oh. Okay, so the puzzle here is you should... Okay, follow me, you weirdo. Come on. Straight to the police officer, I guess. No! Oh my god. Uh, I clicked out 
to apparently down here yeah exit the map i thought as much well let's try again let's go weirdo yes go away quickly get them away from go move Okay, move him over here. Let's see what happens. Oh, yeah, that did do something. <laughs> hey, cut that out. I told you to stop that. All right, mister, you want some of this? Why, you little... <laughs> okay. I wonder how many mimes get arrested because of like shenanigans like that. Let's quickly use the radio. Maybe hey, we can hear where the, the headset and listens. Where the murder is. Hey, you get away from that bike. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. Well, I guess we can go have a look at the cathedral before we head off. I think we have a location for us to visit now. Oh boy. Ah, Catholic. Confessionals. A cherub. A cherub. A cherub. Pews. Rows of pews line each side of the nave's aisle. The nave. At least the cherub is an aesthetic way of asking for donations. <laughs> I'll talk. The chancel of St. Louis Cathedral consists of a raised dais, an altar, two pedestals, and a choir area. Some flags. Flags of the world are displayed from the upper story. A promotion of universal harmony, no doubt. No doubt, confessional. Curtain confessionals are a subtle, old-fashioned presence on the left of the nave. Can I go to one? Someone is in that confessional. Gabriel will have to wait. He can... S oh, probably because the curtains are closed. So, nothing to do here then, huh? Alright. Oh. We can go to the map now. Greater area. French Quarter. Let's have a look. <laughs> I remember, yeah, this is what this area used to look like. boy oh there's uh, the old portraits as well yeah I remember this guy huh. like Ponchar train oh jeez hey mostly huh night you wiener I told you not to call me that feeling jumpy who me don't be stupid How'd you find me? Oh, I was just driving by. Uh-huh. Well, I guess I can let you see it for the book. But don't tell anyone, huh? Oh, jeez. Definitely another voodoo murder. Same M.O. and no freaking clues. We're still waiting on an ID for the body. Oh, that's disgusting. Isn't this a rather public area for this kind of thing? Yeah, they're freaking ghosts, these guys. Lakeshore Drive isn't exactly the 10 Expressway, but it is open to the public. No reports of nothing. Now, who the hell is that? Uh, 
<clears throat> Good day, Miss Getty. What's going on, officer? Detective Mosley, ma'am. Uh, we got a little problem here, but nothing for you to be concerned about. I see. Thank you, Detective. And good day, gentlemen. I'm in love. Forget it. That's Molly Getty. She's about as far out of your reach as the moon. Probably on her way to meet some guy with a yacht right now. Near here? The lake's a popular place for country clubs. If she's out here a lot, maybe she saw something or heard something. Nah, nobody ever sees or hears nothing. I told you. Besides, you just don't go around bothering people like her. We've about wrapped it up, sir. Well, <laughs> what was that let's voice? Let's get the meat wagon moving, then. Stick around and take notes for the book if you want. Watch out for the muck and the water moccasins, though. If you want to talk, I'll be at the station tomorrow. Thanks. We are about to do sir. Like, who the hell talks like that? Okay, police tape. Police tape marks off the crime scene. The crime scene tape might get an interesting reaction from Grace, but really, Gabriel should just leave it there. <laughs> Some marks. There's a pattern to the lines in the sand, but only one small area is clearly defined. Not sure how I'm gonna take it, but Gabriel can't take the lines without some help. Without some help. Wait, doesn't this thing have like a Gabriel looks fondly at his father's sketchbook and charcoal pencil. Ah, charcoal pencil. Maybe we can do something with that. Hmm. Let me try to copy this down. Yay, we did a thing. Vegetation. Gabriel is on the sand and clay shores of Lake Pontchartrain. At a site where some poor bastard got to see who the voodoo murderers really are. Blood. Oh, that's a lot of blood. Well, someone had their heart cut out. No, I've got no way to take that with me. And I don't want to. It's tracks. That looks like snake tracks. Looks like there was something here. I should take a closer look. Okay, well, do so then. Are those like yeah, those look like shoe shoe marks. More shoe marks. Assume that's where it slithered from. Mm, there's nothing here. Slithered up. Some foot footprints over it. What? Marks? The marks are actually deep indentations in a regular mesh pattern. Mm, and then there's something tiny. Something small and iridescent is barely visible in the sand. I can't even see what I'm trying to pick up. I need a better look. Oh, wink wink. Well, we have one of these. It looks like a scale of some sort. Oh, let's take the it. The scale is too dead. Ah. Ha ha ha. Gabriel carefully uses the tweezers to take the small, iridescent scale. I think it's a snake scale, but it beats the hell out of me what kind. I have an IQ of 70 billion. Bank. The banks of Lake Pontchartrain are rich with clay deposits. Oh, can I take the bank? Wait, what? I'll take some of this clay with me. Oh. The clay. Really? Clay? What am I going to do with the clay? Gabriel is carrying a lump of clay from the banks of Lake Pontchartrain. Why? Lake Pontchartrain is impressive. 
It measures 24 miles across and stretches as far as the eye can see. Lake Pontchartrain is scenic, but you really wouldn't want to swim in it. Why? Alligators? River snakes? Is there nothing I can do with the blood? Maybe I can... That doesn't work. Oh. Mm, not sure if there's anything else I should do. I think I'm done here? Not sure, let's go. Oh yeah, it's closed. Everything's closed. I think we did what we had to do. Hello, beautiful. It's me. The excitement of seeing you is killing me. <laughs> Very rude. Mm. Maybe we can talk to her about some stuff. Got a minute, Gray? What's up? Ah, yeah, we can. Let's ask about the snakes you first. Know anything about snakes? Doing a family tree, Gabriel. Very wow. Funny. I mean, real snakes, you know, scaly, cold-blooded. I would have thought you'd find them empathetic. <laughs> mm -hmm. I know very little about reptiles of any kind, and prefer to keep it that way. I think there's a book on snakes around here somewhere, though. Okay, thanks. Could you do some research for me? Sure. What? Check out Malia Kitty. Could you see what you can find out about a woman named Malia Getty? Hmm. The name Getty sounds familiar. What's your interest in her? Oh, just, you know, stuff about the voodoo murders. If you can get an address. Mm-hmm. The murders, right. I'll see what I can find out. Well, oh, it's about closing time. So it is. Good night, Gracie. Good night, Gabriel. And try not to dream. Don't think he has a choice. Don't forget your art supplies. Okay. Guess she doesn't take it with her then. Bruno's Blooms. Do you think like a bookkeeper or a librarian reads a lot of their own books? I guess it's their job to be aware of what's in their library. A mask I wore as I approached. I was what I am not. And though the pattern wasn't clear, its meaning could be bought. Hmm. Paperboy. Don't you look swell today? Actually, swollen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so have some. There's a fresh pot on the table. Seriously, you look like hell. Your hair is sticking straight up like a... Oh, it always does that. Never mind. Uh -huh. <laughs> Did you dream about the fire and the hanged guy and that lion thing last night? Leopard, not lion. Did you get anything on Malia Giddy? 
Well, I did get her address, but you're a little out of your league here, big fella. The Gettys own three local hospitals, just to name a few of their assets. They run in very high circles. Did you get an address? I got the address. I suppose this has nothing to do with the fact that Molly Getty is incredibly gorgeous. <laughs> I should have known you wouldn't go for a rich, ugly socialite. And that address is? Hey, far be it from me to postpone your total humiliation. It's 557 West Ingram. That's the Garden District. Estate City. That's all I wanted to know. And yes, my dear, Malia Getty is the most dangerous-looking diversion I have ever seen. Ouch. Ugh, men. <laughs> Alright, uh, well, let's check the newspaper. Times dated June 19th, 1993. A front page article describes the most recent of the voodoo murders. Gabriel scans it but learns nothing new. The article reiterates that the voodoo aspect of the crime is faked. Gabriel shivers. It looked real enough to him. Elsewhere, there's an article about the history of Jackson Square called the Plaza Dons under French rule. It was used for executions, Ooh. firing squads, hangings, even impalements and breaking on the wheel. Yikes! Delightful. Of course, these days, it's mostly a hangout for tourists, street musicians, and local artists. Gabriel also scans the Aquarius horoscope for the day. Chances of a dark star rising on this day. Do not trust your instincts. I feel a dark star rising, all right. Wow. <laughs> he sounds like Johnny Bravo. Hmm, anything else interesting? Nothing changed. We should probably ask her for messages. Got a minute, Greg? What's up? No messages, huh? Do you? Dana called and Susie left a message about a loss. Oh. Tossum. Okie dokie. Well, that's all the messages for now. <laughs> Something about a lawsuit. <laughs> Toss them. Uh, I don't think there's anything else. Can I show her stuff? I'm not sure she's going to like it. You want to see something really cool? Oh, that's disgusting. That's really horrible. I know. Great, isn't it? God, somebody ought to lock you up. <laughs> Okay, uh, maybe show her the patterns? That doesn't seem... Oh, alright. Mm, can we go to the bookshelf and check if we can find something on the scale there, maybe? By looking at snakes of the world. Compare it. Oh. Oh, you can compare them. That's... Silly. Also, Sprach. Whatever. Already read that. Let's check the German English dictionary. Gabriel leaves through it. Himmel means heaven. Huh. More? Reiser means a journey. It's a race. I wonder if I'll ever use this stuff. Gabriel leaves. means possessed. Well, that's handy to know. Possessing. Gabriel Lee. Drachen means. Okay, now that one. Gabriel. I remember one of the uh, things in the original game. Um, you had to check the dictionary every day because you'd learn one or two extra words as well, and you needed them for something. I can't remember. That's it. Let's go. I'm gonna click on the map because it skips the door animation. Makes it a little faster. Uh, oh yeah, he said we should go see him, so let's go see him. Wait, oh, was there like something laying in the street? Let me go check that out. Was this here yesterday? Oh, no, you can't do anything with it anyway. Never mind. Let's see if we can go here now. Hey, oh, is this private? I wanna go. Ugh. 
forgot a second. What can I do you? Where's Detective Mosley? to see Detective Mosley. He's in his office. Go on back. Gee, thanks. Couldn't you just have yelled that at him? All right, so now we're here. Let's check out the copier. Here's a photocopy machine in the office area. The bulletin board is littered with everything from wanted posters to flyers. Mm, there's a camera. That camera looks professional. There's an inbox. It's an inbox. Ooh, an inbox. There's nothing of it. All right, let's check out Frank's. She's not bad. Let's talk to her. Excuse me, officer. Yes. Uh, want some coffee? Get me some coffee. Get me Are some you coffee. Are speaking oh. to me? Why, yes. Wow, Deja, leave it to Beaver. I'm the police photographer, sir. You might be able to find someone around here dumb enough to get coffee for you, but it won't be me. Oh, thanks anyway. I can give you precise instructions for the handling of hot liquids if you need them. N no, thanks. I thought I was gonna ask her out to coffee. <laughs> great uniform. You know, that uniform looks great on you. Uh huh. Is that a compliment or are you asking to borrow my dress? <laughs> it's a compliment. Well, you just never know around here. Thanks, but I'm married. Oh, uh, well, okay, bye. Uh, never mind. Fine, I'll get back to work. Wow, Gabriel is a bit of an ass. Why am I talking to the mer? Looking good, kid. <laughs> the mirror reflects. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's... Oh, never mind. I already know. <laughs> Thermostat. There's a temperature gauge on the wall near Mosley's office. Can I use it? There's a puppy that says don't touch. Okay. Guess I won't touch it for now. Unless I assume there's a reason to. Detective Mosley. Hard at work, I see. Yeah, yeah. What is it, you wanker? <laughs> dun, dun, oh, jeez. Microwave, huh? A microwave? If Gabriel knows Mosley, it's used exclusively for frozen corn dogs. The hell is a frozen corn dog? Gabriel wouldn't put anything in that microwave. <laughs> Whatever goes into those files never comes out. <laughs> oh, this is a window. That's funny. The window is a mirror on the other side. It's called a one-sided mirror. Get with the times, narrator. Bookcase. Moses' bookcase holds old magazines and binders. Moses' desk has more growing on it than his head. <laughs> There's no reason to go through the desk at the moment. You can see this drawer, like, stands out like a sore thumb if you look at everything else that's, like, kind of muted, kind of blends in. That's the first thing I do when I get into a room. Like, I notice stuff that's like in sharp contrast to the rest of the stuff Mosley was one of those beefy guys in his youth now he's getting lumpy the badge <laughs> in his front court pocket is set off particularly well by the gold polyester of his jacket well that's some of a chat I guess can I ask you about some stuff you're the writer ask away hmm what can you tell me about voodoo? There's voodoo that goes on in this city. Sure, I looked into it a bit at the beginning of this case. But the voodoo stuff found at the crime scenes is all faint. It doesn't have anything to do with the real stuff. I know. I asked some experts. <laughs> it's intimidation tactics. That's all. Really? What else can you tell me about voodoo? I told you, don't worry about that part of it. It's all faint. What do you know about the voodoo murders? Lots. 
Can you be more specific? Mm. Do you know anything about the killers? At least 20 people attend the killings. We know this from the variety of footprints found at the scenes. Footprints? Aren't those as good as fingerprints? Can be, but we'd have to have a suspect in custody first. And the suspect would have to match one of the few distinct prints we have. Most of the footprints are smudged, trodden over, unreadable. These guys are so casual in their expertise, it's maddening. Like they know we'll never find them. How many murders have there been so far? Seven murders have so far been linked to the Voodoo Murders case. The first murder occurred about eight weeks ago. The M.O. is the same in each murder. Lake Pontchartrain was the seventh. What kind of evidence have you found? No fingerprints, a few bare footprints. Found a few fibers, but not many. The weirdest one was leopard fur. Leopard fur? Oh, snap. Describe the crime scenes. Well, there's the corpse itself, minus the heart. Around where the body was killed, we find marks and flour and blood. There are traces of wax from candles, red and black. Ordinary wax candles, so the lab reports. Also blood and feathers of chickens and goat's blood. And plenty of the victim's own, of course. Jeez. What's the coroner say? The victim's heart is always ripped out of the chest and missing. We haven't located a single one of them. Lovely. Any idea what they do with them? Don't even want to know. Also, the coroner says some of the victims had heart attacks before the incision. Literally scared to death. The knife wounds are consistent with a long, narrow, wavy-edged knife. Probably a ritualistic dagger. Interesting. Any witnesses? Like a Chris. No. There's never been a single witness. No one's even heard a disturbance. It's damned weird. Like they just don't want people to see. And so nobody sees nothing. Hmm. Know anything about the victims? The victims are all out of towners. We still don't know why. Oh, no. Sure. Nope. Okay. Anything else? Um. What can you tell me about patterns around the bodies? Do you know anything about the patterns around the bodies? Yeah. Weird, huh? All seven victims had those marks around them. We've got all the marks on file, but we haven't figured out what anything they mean can I have the other six ones can I see the other six patterns uh sure people like that kind of stuff don't they might make the book seem more mysterious go talk to officer Franks tell her I said you could see the file <laughs> insult him trying for a real estate job with that coat no are you trying out for a janitorial job with that hair Oof. well uh I am going to leave this episode here. Uh, let's save. Guys, I appreciate a like and a comment. However, I would appreciate it even more if you would tap that sub button. If you liked hanging out, if you liked watching today's episode, then I encourage you to stick around for the next one. Well, thanks for hanging out, guys, and I will see all of you in the next episode. Bye-bye for now.